The session um, is about novel approaches for lymphocyte engineering, and I have to admit all topics have an interesting twist to our clinical application. And we will start with Dr. Michael Taxelmeyer from the University of Vienna, who will talk about how to control the activity of CAR T cells once they are infused back into the patient. Indeed, CAR T cells are very potent uh, therapeutic drugs, and sometimes they are even too activated in the patient's body. So what he proposes is to is, is a novel design of a CAR construct that is composed of a, a lower affinity binding domain that in its monomeric form is not capable of proper simulating the engineered T cells. However, upon the administration of a small molecule, the CAR can dimerize and in this state they have enough ability to uh, a proper T cell activation. So then we will move to uh, the topic of T cell uh, product manufacturing, which is still uh, challenging in terms of of toxicity uh, for the T cells and safety and also cost. And uh, in these regards, uh, Dominica Bardeca from the University of Ghent will um, show with us uh, the recent finding about a novel uh, technologies uh, that allows uh, cellular transfection. And this technology is named laser-based uh, photoporation. And she could demonstrate that by this technology, she can achieve very high transfection efficiency with the minimal expenses of uh, cell viability, which is very important. Um, the third uh, e-poster uh, will tackle actually the problem of uh, the limitation that we have in terms of preclinical models useful for studying the interaction between uh, immune, uh, human tumors, human immune cells, and eventually also adoptively transfer human T cell products. And um, here, Juliane Mais from the University of Zurich uh, will, uh, will, will show um, her new model where a chance Essentially, uh, she is using humanized mice that are already reconstituted with the human immune system, and these mice are further engrafted with autologous lymphoblastic cell lines. And very surprisingly, these tumors can be completely infiltrated by human immune system, and thereby we can study this interaction in a, in a way that was not possible before. And then the section will be um, uh, closed by uh, Professor Katri Schumann from the Technical University of Munich, and she will talk about regulatory T cells, which is a, a subset of T cells particularly interesting uh, because of their unique role in controlling uh, immune homeostasis. And I have to be honest, this cell population has been a bit neglected by adoptive T cell therapy field in the last years, but holds a very huge potential in terms of therapeutics. And uh, Katrin Schumann, um, uh, by applying a CRISPR-Cas9 based uh, screening, uh, she discovered really important nodes of regulatory networks that govern T-REC phenotype, and thereby she can provide really insights and important information to modulate basically T-REGs according to a particular application. Mm -hmm.